Hi, I'm Ram. Welcome back to my Moran playthrough. Last time we were wandering up the hills to Mount Cand. Just sort of having a little explore around. There's a... The whole sort of southwest of Vardenfell we haven't really explored. Did I ever check in you yet? I can't quite remember. Mount Cand Cavern. Okay, I don't think we actually... Did we go into Mount Cand? I uh, I definitely went into one of the caves. I think there was a cave up there I went into. See if there's anything good in here. I uh, I haven't played the uh, the religious quest in this game, the one you get from the temple. Nor do I really plan to, but presumably some sort of nice prayer area down here. Lovely. I wonder if I'm very good at stealth or if you're friendly. Ooh. Friendly? Oh. Answer my riddle, fool, and then fight me. Okay, the Daedra speaks slowly in words it obviously memorised. A metal neither black nor red, as heavy as a man's golden greed. What do you do to stay ahead, with friend or arrow or steed? Uh, kind of wanted to say, it's either Daedric or Ebony. I think Ebony's straight black though. Daedric's definitely higher tier than Ebony. I fail? Okay, Ebony it would have been though. I'm sure Ebony's a black colour. Just get my healing, healing amulet out. And I think I've got my fire sword equipped. Yeah, that's not good. Put good old ice pick back on. Kind of disappointed that I failed your riddle. Yeah, nothing on you. I wonder if you would have given me a prize or something. No matter. I'll, I'll be careful to not attack anything else. I hope there's more Atronachs with riddles down here. Ooh, there is another one. Ooh, I like it. He's got... They've all got their own little... Little areas. Very fun. Okay. Answer this riddle for me, or does thy blood run cold? First, you must pass the fire Daedra's River. Okay, you're going to make me reset it. That's fine. Um, hopefully it'll respawn if I just leave and come back in. Okay, I left and I came back and he was still dead, so I had a save outside the door. I just reloaded. Now, I might actually have a little look at my weapons. Because I think... Yeah, I've got... Oh, the problem is I, I renamed them, so I can't remember what they were originally. I think these actually might be Ebony and not... Not Daedric. I'm sure I had a Daedric sword. Having a look at my sword, it's... Mm, I wouldn't really say it's red, but... It's definitely not any of the others, so Ebony. Okay, well, we're reloading again. I'm going to think about that. I think... I think I might be misunderstanding what the question means, because I assumed when I read neither black nor red, I assumed it meant like a sort of black to red shift, like both. But actually just occurring to me that it might mean neither. So in which case, yeah, it wouldn't be ebony either. Right, I'll read again a little closer and we'll take that into mind. Black or red. I'm still not sure, but I'm noticing that all of these last lines would rhyme with lead. So, we don't have lead weapons. Pass mortal. Thank you. Okay. More got that in the rhyme. I'm going to see what quest that activated. Right, just that. I'm going to going to save here. Just because, I don't know, I hope there's something like nice and cool at the end of this. Lovely, my little ice man. 
I do really like his little little ice thing. If you lie to me, I will slay you with my sword. If you tell me the truth, I will slay you with a spell. My brain is minorly boggled. Okay, I think middle one doesn't work. Because if I slay, you will slay me with a spell. That will be true, and therefore... Second clause will be correct, so that just works, and he will kill me. So, it's the goal to sort of trick him so he doesn't kill me with anything. Don't kill me isn't... I don't know if that's technically a lie, because he will kill me. Or if not, if I say you'll slay me with your sword... Uh... Then he can't slay me with his sword, because he only does that if I lie. So, if I tell the truth, he'll slay me with a spell, but then I'll be lying, so it'll be the sword. And we'll be sort of trapped in limbo, so I might try that. Excellent, you're a worthy opponent. If you do not wish to feel the chills of oblivion, you may pass. Thank you, little Daedra. Okay, uh, Storm. Little Storm Daedra next. There we are. Ooh, more underwater stuff. Resist, resist the temptation, and you, you look like the last guy. Not really seeing any sort of, like, obvious treasure down here. Maybe you just give me a blessing or something. I am your final barrier, mortal. Answer my riddle, and then best me, if you can. My fellow Atronach, Xavier Soko, was slain. The Altma claims the Dunmer is guilty. The Dunmer says the Khajiit did it. The Orc swears he didn't kill Sadia Soko. The Khajiit says the Dunmer is lying. If only one of these speaks the truth, who killed Sadia Soko? Okay, the, the Orc's probably the easiest to focus on first, because his claim is only concerning himself. So... Yeah, we'll just run through the scenarios with all of the characters. So, if the Orc's true, then... Yeah, if the Orc swears he didn't kill him, and he didn't. The Altima's telling the truth, so the Dunma did do it. The Dunma says the Khajiit did it. I might need to get a notepad or something. In the scenario that the Orc's telling the truth, the Orc didn't kill him. The Dunma can't have killed him. The Khajiit... The Khajiit can't have killed him. And the Khajiit says the Dunmer is lying. In which case the Khajiit didn't do it. Yeah, I don't I don't think that works because the Khajiit and the Dunmer are contradicting each other. Okay, so scratch that one out. Uh the Altma next, because he's less involved with the other two. Yeah, I don't think the Altma works either, because for the same reason the Dunbar and the Khajiit thing don't work. It has to be one of those that's telling the truth. So, if the Dunbar says the Khajiit did it, and that's correct, then the Khajiit isn't telling the truth, because the Dunbar is true. And that wouldn't work, because if the Orc's not telling the truth, then that means he did it. I think, I think Khajiit may be the answer. So, Khajiit says the Dunmer is... ...lying. So, that just rules out the Khajiit doing it. Altma claims the Dunmer is guilty, but the Altma's lying, so that's fine. And the Orc swears he didn't kill him, so that means the Orc did do it. So, if only one of these speaks the truth, that means the Orc killed him. I acknowledge that your answer is correct. Good, thank god. Uh, am I going to get anything from you? I should go to the Tree Aloth of Mount Can to receive my wisdom. Lovely, kind of just accidentally stumbled upon this religious thing, so I don't really know where that is. 
Um, logic tells me it's just the highest point of the mountain because that's usually where good stuff is. So I'm going to hightail it over there. All right, back out. I think we're sort of on on this road, but that's that's taking us lower down. So yeah, one of the problems with Morrowind is getting high ground isn't actually very beneficial because I can't really see anything from up here anyway. Yeah, I think I I think I might follow the path and. Hopefully that'll take me to where I need to go. Right, this might be something. We are actually reaching a signpost. Hopefully. I'm worried this will just send us back to the Mount Khan's caverns, though. Gotta be somewhere in here. Is this? Yeah, just the trio loth. Yeah, Mount Khan's just... Mm, that's not fully the way I expected it to be, is it? No, no it is, okay. At least we get to see the uh, silt striders of Molagmar. Molagmar seems like a, a weird town, because it's kind of... It's kind of like out of the way, there's not really much around here, but also... Yeah, there was literally one quest that I found that was connected to it. And that was the old, uh, bring that guy to see his businesswoman friend. But apart from that, I don't, I think I spoke to everyone there and I don't think I got a single quest. Which is it's very odd for like a, a big city. It might just be for one of the faction lines, I'm not doing it. I think it is a, uh... Ah, Christ, what are they called? House... House Redoran? Yeah. I think it's sort of their district, so... Maybe that's why. Did I just walk past the door and not go in it? Was that literally the door I was in about five seconds ago? I... Yes, it was. Okay. I've literally just walked in a massive circle. And not found this Trioloth. So I did I did find like Azura's birthplace or whatever last time, so I'm wondering if that might be something. Ooh, you don't see you don't see you often unless you're front of Daedric Shrines. Might be Might actually be Getting onto something. Yeah, we're still sort of in the vicinity of Mount Khan. Where's my little gem eater? I want you in one of my one of my gems. There we are. Ooh. Ow, yeah, gotta be careful with you, because I think you can still kill me. Especially since I put the difficulty up. I don't think I've hit anything more aggressive than, like, a gua since I put my difficulty up. Ow. Yeah, that's a lot of damage from literally an insect on the... Ow. No, come on. There we are. Still not too bad, but... Can't just be running into combat for no reason. Yeah, you sort of came from up this hill, so... I wonder if there's anything sort of up here. Does... Have I been right up there at the top? We'll do a little... Do a little check where the Golden Saint was. Did you happen to come from a ruin? Uh... Doesn't doesn't look like it. I think I'll just continue along this path then. It does look like Yeah, I I think this might be something. High point. Hmm. Good promise there didn't seem to be like a uh a little walkway up. Not that it particularly matters, because I'll just levitate up there, but 
wonder how the average the average non magic user managed to get up there this this anything I think that's literally the door that I was looking at like two seconds ago. Okay, never mind. There's... Ooh, there is a skeleton up here though. Happened to... Ooh. Linus Aeolius Steradarin's robe. Belt, can't read at all. That's a cast when used, but I like that it's got your name on it. Yeah, here's Maron Amulet. Uh, silver Staff of Shaming. Not anything too fancy, but I'd, I'd like to know who you are. At some point. Yeah, this is highest point. Nothing up here other than... Corpse. That's fine. We'll try and get back to the road that we were on. Alright, I did a bit of... A bit of ambulous scrabbling around in that direction. Still didn't find anything, so I'm hoping... Next time I get into a city, I'll maybe check out one of the temples, just to see if that's sort of something I can ask them about. So, just taking a nice way down here. Is this the... Yeah, I think I got lost at this stronghold ages ago. Is this mine, actually? I can't, I can't remember where mine was. I'm sure it was a little bit higher up. But, uh, is this, is this my stronghold, perhaps? Hmm, hard to tell. Telesero. Ooh. Oh, nice, it's, uh, it's Dagoth. This is very fancy. Ooh, there's loads of you back here there. Stop shooting me. I think I might heal up. Yeah, I thought this was just a random a random little area, but it looks very nice and dramatic in here. I wonder if we'll be going into another weird little cavern like uh the one that leads to inside the red mountain. What are you lot down there? Ooh, you've got nice little corpus fictions as well. Steel darts. Ooh, I do really like it in here. Very nice ambiance. And don't have to worry about getting corpus because I've already had it and I'm immune. This place is very nice. It's sort of sort of half cave. There's, uh, we haven't found any of the, uh, the big Cthulhu guys yet. Mostly been dreamers with the occasional one of these guys. It's very pretty, though. This is... I kind of feel like I... I'm gonna regret doing this, because... The amount of, like, weird design in this room does make me think that it's gonna... It's gonna make me come back here for story. Hopefully I can just pick up whatever unique item I see, though. It's a normal sword. That's nothing special, nothing special. Nice little chest. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll keep my eyes open for any sort of unique item there is down here. Just in case it's another collect something and bring it back to the tribes type of situation. Yeah, there's a way down... Ooh, there's a lower level there. And then, is this a separate cave, or is this just another way down to the lower level? Or is this just, it just looks like a little lava pit. With no one in it. Very strange. I can hear the, the death whispers. They've probably got a, one of those pit of their dead ancestors down there or something. Ooh, that looks very regal down here. 
Come on, somebody with a name. Now, I'll leave... I'll leave that, I'll leave that to last. I'll, I'll build up the suspense. Go in these doors first. There's just more dreamers. You will die. Yep. Ooh. Okay, just a room full of rats in this one. Very odd. Hmm, you've got some cups. I'm still still got my eyes open for. I think I'll take that glass lantern. Always gotta keep the eyes peeled for nice furniture. I feel like a, a nice a nice lantern is probably better loot for me than a sword would be. Feeling feeling pretty comfortable with my own equipment, but could always get some some nice decorations to take home. Right, on to the first set of the good stuff. Good old piano playing. Ooh. Okay, that's very heavy. Don't take all of that. Lovely. Shinies and a massive book. Breathing water. I'll sell that. Ooh. Extravagant glove. Silver viper sword. Okay, that's not unique. Telcero Procyolon index. I think that's the first... Second? I think I've already got one. Let's quickly take these. And two chests I'm going to have to get into. Fine, I'll quickly crack these open. And not much, just a bit of money and exquisite stuff. Ooh. Oh, I really wish I could take these like little, little daedric things back to my house. Right, check out the side drawers again. Right, just random more dreamers. Now for the good stuff. Is there... No one around here. Nice little shrine of corporus. Hmm. There's... Ooh, there was something I could... Ah, just ash statues. Do I, do I want ash statues in my house? Mm, probably not. I do. I think without the rest of the uh, sixth house decor, I don't think they look that good on their own. Plus, there's always like smugglers with crates of them, so they're not particularly hard to get either. So I'd kind of feel weird just having a bunch of them. I don't think there's actually anything in this little room. I think we might have... Oh, I would die for that candle. I think we might have just had our lot with uh, this little chest here. I'll take the potions as well, why not? Alright, this was this was just like a side building, so I'll see if we can get access to the actual bulk of Telsaro. Or is this just is this just the uh, propylon bit? Yeah. Anywhere I can... Alright, Miranda's. That's... I'm pretty sure Miranda's stronghold is like... Like a, a five second walk from here. Isn't it like here-ish? That's, that's there. Okay, that's fair I guess. Fine, onwards and upwards. See if there's something... I'm pretty sure I did go to this area at the start of the game and I just had to... I think this was another one of the areas that I just ran past because I couldn't fight anything yet. Right, here we are. This is... Kunirai. Sounds lovely. Okay, you're actually doing a bit of damage on me. There we are. Should probably actually see if I can... Might as well try and summon some guys. Can I... Mm, my fatigue's quite low. I think I might do it next combat. It's still kind of weird to me that 
spells are based on fatigue. Which is very weird. I'd even get if they were, like, based on how full your health was. Because that would... Well, it still wouldn't make a lot of sense, but it would at least make a little bit more sense on being dependent on fatigue. Okay, maybe not, considering I can't rest. Just push onwards. I don't think the difficulty affects the trap doors. They still don't seem to be doing anything to me. There we go, just a bit of... Standards. Nothing on you worth taking. This is... I feel like this is the exact same layout as, um... The Kawama Egg Cave I was back in a while back. With the Slave Rebellion back at the south of the map. Now... Yeah, I was going to ask if you had slaves, because you're kind of wearing slightly too nice armour to be like regular bandits or smugglers, so I'm I'm stuck in a... I'm still sort of holding out that you've got something, something a little fancy down here. Either way, I'll, I'll just take whatever you have. Is it fancy? It's... Mm, it's steel. You are like wearing nice rings and stuff though, so... Maybe, you never know. Ah, someone down there, probably a mage. And... Yeah, this is just sort of your house, I guess. No one in your forge area? Fine. Ooh, secret thing behind the forge. Alright, nothing... Nothing at all in this room, just... Well, stuff for making and crafting armour. Makes sense, but as I'm... Not really that type of character... I shall leave on by. I've never really gotten into the... Smithing or making armour. In any of the Elder Scrolls game. I know you can't really make any, except in... Skyrim, but you can kind of smith in Oblivion. Are you not hostile? Uh, I don't know you. What do you want? Okay, there's... You're just in a bandit cell. Do you mind if I take this stuff? Uh, I... Apparently not, okay. Um... If, if you're fine with me just taking everything, I might just leave you alive then. Ooh, more stuff down there. I always, always feel weird leaving one. I don't, I don't really know why. Like, why the game would figure that. I think maybe. Ooh, that's something enchanted. My like theory is maybe she's classed under a faction that I'm amicable. Like she is part like bandit faction, but maybe she's also like Telvani, so that's why she doesn't want to attack me. Dunno, it's just odd, because there's there's been a several people in dungeons full of bandits who just don't want to fight. This is... Yeah, I'll take it. My little sleep. Might as well... Okay, who's the the best enemy I can reliably get out? Weirdly, weirdly not a lot. I might actually have to go pay for uh, for training. I do like a clan VR. They're not very good in battle, but they're just pretty cute, so. Right, get him. I wonder if he could 1v1 kill him. Probably not, although I think he's getting scared and having to heal himself. I think I'll just loot while he does that. Just, uh... Ooh, 2v1's not good. Okay, you kill that guy. I'll I'll deal with the mage. I think none of them are even aware that I'm here. They all just seem going for the clan VR. You anything good? Not at all. 
Yeah, okay, I'll just let you guys do your thing. And I'll just go around thieving. They seem actually pretty evenly matched. I think my Clancy uh, might time out before he kills him. I'm still leaving it though. I believe in you. I'll just go. He killed my clan VR. Yeah, can't afford another one. Yeah, I think they were just at a complete stalemate. Look at him, a clown. He doesn't know how to run away while casting magic. That's his problem. This dude weirdly had just one ebony bracer and the rest of it steel. I might take that just because because of what an oddity it is. And lastly, just a little storeroom up here. Yeah, these guys must have just been... I don't know, uh, freelance armourers? This definitely doesn't look stolen, so... Maybe they were just, like, innocent people and I just barged into their house slash stop slash shop. Poor guys, I suppose that's the that's the disadvantage of not setting shop up in a in a city or in a settlement. You just get me barging in, stealing all your stuff. My time is precious, so make it quick. I've just decided I'm gonna kill her as well. I feel weird leaving one alive. There we are. Also, there's always like the what if. What if she was the one person in the dungeon who had like an unbelievably powerful enchanted amulet or something. Out and about, still wandering. This looks like a nice little clamour mine. There you are. I'll just have a quick run through, see if there's anything of note in here. There usually isn't, so... Although it does have a cute little pond and some stairs. It's definitely more... more high-tech, I'd say, than most of the clamour mines. Ooh, it's even got a fish in an underwater section. This might actually have stuff of worth in it then. Alright, nothing fine here. There was definitely sort of like a weird... A weird little underground cave where that fish was. Just have a quick little swim down there, see if that's anything. Ooh, there's two little fish caves. Very intriguing. Ooh. Uh, go down this one first. Probably worth casting my water breathing. There we are. Some nice little plants down here. Can I not harvest a lot, unfortunately, but nice to... Nice to swim through, gives it a bit of colour. Ooh, this is... Okay, way up there, but is there... Is that just a clam down here? Yeah, just a collop. Is there anything... A little chest hidden down here? A skeleton? Doesn't, doesn't look like it. That's the way back round, so... What's up here in this big room? Uh, it appears uh, literally nothing. Maybe this is just here for people who aren't playing an Argonian and therefore need a rest. Right, on to the next. A little wander down here. I'm still, yeah, I'm still looking for Saran, which I believe was accessible via water, so should be somewhere along along this coastline. Is this, yeah, I'm going the right way. I think good old, good old mud crab merchant is somewhere around this location as well, if I remember. I'm, I'm not going to get into the hassle of trying and failing to find him, though. This just a nice little egg mine. 
Right, I'll just have a quick look round. Uh, Alright, nothing much to report, just regular egg stuff. Yeah, we need to be... I kind of want to find this stream and sort of head up it. I'm excited for a new settlement. I want, I want quests. Not that I really need any, because... I have probably about 80. Is that bow fell over there? Let's have a look at it, check my map. Ald Sotha, but still still a Daedric ruin and still Is that the one that had like the uh the very cool underground ruin? Because that was nice. I did I did love visiting that one. Ooh, this looks something. Saran? Yeah, I'm betting this is Saran. Lovely. I think... Yeah, could do with dropping some stuff off. I think I picked up some armor I'm going to need to sell as well. There we are, Saran. So, how how big of a town is this? This is Oran Manor. Okay, you looking for a specific place in Saran? Uh, I'm gonna sell my stuff to you, and then we can have a little, a little chat about what's, what's happening around here. Okay, this guy has like literally no money, but yeah, I think I, I think I might just have to wait and then have a, a big trip back to Creeper. Just tell me about what Saran is in general. Saran is a busy trading village on Lake Masalbi, gateway to the lakes, farms, and plantations of the Ascadian Isles region. Pilgrims visiting the temple pilgrimage sites at Field of Kumu and the Shrine of Mole of Baal seek lodging in Saran. Saran also provides food and services for the farmers and plantation owners of the Ascadian Isles, the rich agricultural land south and west of Saran. In this county of lakes and islands, travellers need water walk or levitate magic or strong swimming skills whatever you're looking for i'm sure i don't know how to find it Ooh. it's a very cute little purple belt down there Ooh, and a belt with teeth on it you uh you have some nice stuff here i'm i'm just gonna wander around see if i can have a chat to people if you're a trading place, presumably if you have a, a nice a nice local bar. I can ask you about a mine nearby. Vasia did not mine. If you know where the mine is, speak with Dram Barrow. Or if you don't do not wish to deal with him, speak to Velanda Omani. They are known to keep their word, and both would be interested in this mine. Do you want something? Okay, uh I'm going to have to check my quest log. I don't specifically remember either the mine or this quest, but I think I think Omani Manor was one of the one of the the, the plantation manors on the way to Vivek. So Not sure if it's necessarily someone in this area. I will I will keep my keep my eyes out. Ooh, someone's got I, I have an urge for this quill pen. I might start collecting quill pens. There's not there's not a lot of stuff that looks fancy in this game, so decorative bowl? Hmm. It's kind of ugly. I don't think I'll take it. I'll take I'll take your candles though. There we are. Right, let's get out into the actual meat of Saran. So, ooh, an alchemist's. Oh, this is like a, a proper, a proper like actual city. Very impressive. Right, trader there. As I was saying, I probably am just going to save my stuff for a creeper. 
Well, the air probably won't hurt to get my stuff repaired, though. Oh my god, there's more people talking to me about the Daguar. Yes, Enwar must die. You're gonna fight me in the streets again? You talk too much out there. Right, couldn't find someone to repair my clothes in there. A bar, though. This is... Ooh, I like that candle as well. All the good candles in this game are inaccessible. Anytime you're ready. Just don't keep me waiting. Uh, Jamie, do you have rumours? Somebody found a rogue Talvani base out in the middle of the Ashlands, but they don't know where. It's not hugely helpful. I'll just, I'll just yes. go around. Everyone seems pretty excited about this rogue Talvani base, but not much else. Hides his eyes. Yes. Anzor, couple yes. of suspicious-looking Argonians back here. I'm not looking for someone in particular. I'm. You guys look like suspicious characters. I'm telling you, it's making me worried. My neighbor was outside in the middle of the night last night, running around talking nonsense, and in the morning he doesn't remember a thing about it. These scholars talk stuff about delusion diseases and such. What the hell does that mean, and why can't the priests cure it? That's very specific and very odd. Wish you'd, wish you'd tell me who your neighbour was. Don't seem to have any other any other things I can ask you. I can ask you about Telvani Spy for some reason. Oh, okay, you must be. You're a Mages Guild, that's fine. Hides his eyes. Telvani base, and yeah, apparently there's a, a slave trader in town. Bad man hunts my people down. Deserves to be dead, that one does. I agree, I might actually go kill him. Is this Skooma? You guys are just smoking back here. I might, everyone... Apart from the Telvani base, the only thing I have an option to ask people about is the slave trader, so... Either that's a quest, or just some just some old-fashioned killing I've got to do. No sign of a slave trader yet, though. There is, there's a dock over there, so... That's kind of what I'd associate. Ooh, they have a silt strider as well. Really moving up in the world. Okay, that's an outfitter. This, is this another pub? Desolé's House of Earthly Denites. Oh, nice. You've got like a... A weird little strip bar in here. What do you want? Great place, huh? We'll see. It's definitely the, the party city of Varnfell. There's skooma everywhere. I'm gonna defo get some more information about this place. Well, hey there. It's fine face this is, right? It's fine place. Good place for me to just forget about my troubles. No use thinking about them, stupid slaves. Why they gotta run, huh? Sure, be nothing to do if they didn't. But why they gotta hide, too? Okay, you're not the, the slave trader, but would like to hear more about your slaves. Bah, I hate them all, especially the ones I can't find. Know what I mean? Of course you do. Been looking for this one. Haj I for months now. Can't find him though. Always running and hiding. Running and hiding. How's a man supposed to earn his keep? I'll tell you how. Running and looking. That's how. Even got myself a guide I did. Good old hides his eyes. Kind of a stupid name if you ask me. Anyway, he's been showing me around here for a couple of weeks. Fat load of good that's done me. Hides his eyes. He's the guy we met. He's clearly leading you on for money and not helping you find him. I'm not going to help either. I can find the slave you're looking for or I'm not going to find the slave for you. I'm not going to, but I'd kind of like to know where he is so I can warn you. But I'll pretend that I won't. Bah, why would you want to look for that slave anyway? I don't even think he's really out there, just a figment of my imagination. I'll just buy myself another drink and wait for him to walk in here and ask me to take him back to his owners. Barkeep. More info on this slave. Okay, you don't know where he is. Hides his eye is a good guy. Shows you around to the barman. I'll keep my... 
keep my eyes open. I wonder if... I wonder if uh, there's like a slave that's hiding in the back of the Argonian embassy. Are you topless, by the way? So what do you want? It's it's hard to tell. What can Kim Jarsi do for you? Oh no, are you like slave strippers? Twin lamps. Yeah, okay, you're a slave stripper, but you're a normal stripper. Which seems Oz. Welcome to my house, Argonian. Make yourself at home. Okay, cool, you just have... That's very questionable. Um, I'm going to ask you about your slaves before I decide to kill you. Don't want to talk to you about Hajj. I... Okay, don't want to talk to me about that. Might have a root all round in here. Rune is a real gem, isn't she? Caravan have told me you delivered a bunch of pilgrim in rows and a pile of equipment to a drop site east of Lake Nabia, northwest of Mount Cand. Nothing out there to interest a pilgrim. Okay, so that's a bit more, a bit more detailed where this Telvani camp is. So east of Lake Nabia, northeast of Mount Cand. Uh, so east of northwest of so sort of directly directly sort of in the middle where my cursor is i think is what we're looking for i'm gonna see if i can talk to you i'm fine thank you the untethered you can call me runa first visit to saran we get lots of pilgrims here since the birthplace of molag bal and the fields of kumu are a nearby popular pilgrimage site is there some specific place you'd like to see I'm gonna. Come on, then. Say something or move on. I I just want to know about the slaveries here. An Argonian? How exciting! I've never had an Argonian customer. Care to tell me what this is about? That's weird and questionable. Okay, I'm gonna start rooting about in in this lady's house. Mark level forty-five. You're just a pilgrim. And that's a door to the outside. I kind of want to... Resting here is illegal. I will quick save and then I will try and get into this door. Spell has unlocked his target. I'm not... It's not giving me the little sneak symbol, but... Ooh. Oh. Oh. This is just your weird prostitute sex room. Okay, I'm shutting the door. I don't want to start murdering here because that seems Care to tell me what this annoying. Time for you. I I think I might cast some charm spells on you, get you to sort of tell me about the Argonians. That's uh, so not quite. Sixty-two. Ah, didn't get on quick enough. Um. I might go upstairs and sleep in that bed. I I really don't want to pay you if you have a slave operation. Right, that's that's 73. Hal, I... Yes, I've heard of him. Couldn't tell you where to find him, though. Ask Durana Saratham in the slave market. He's gotten to be an expert on Argonians, their language and their habits. Hide his eyes. And you think there's something not right about him. Probably because he's anti-slaves. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna check out this slave market. Uh, I think it'll be across the river, that would make sense. Right, it's a it's a bit outside of town, but this house still looks close enough that it could be a plantation, is this? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely still within Saran limits. This isn't... That's the Eulaz Manor. I think you were one of the guys who wanted the... Uh... The land. Ooh, here are the slaves, though. Are any of you had I? Grey throat. you doing here? What can I do for you? Right, definitely a lot of slaves here, but not... 
not a lot of market and the person in there was just the person who wanted to find the mine so maybe i am slightly too far away from saran i might have just sort of accidentally walked past it yeah this is part of the uh the manor Ooh. i'll steal a petty soul gem though I think, well, I can't, I can't resist a manner of slaves if I'm here. So I think, I think I might liberate this little slave camp and hopefully work my way back into Saran and actually try and find this slave trader. There's what, like, at least 15 slaves here, so that's pretty good. But uh, thank you for watching. I'll do that next time.